Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve this word problem on average. It says that the average age of three girls is 11 years. The average age of two of the girls is 12 years. What is the age of the third girl? Okay, so here is what we have. We have three girls whose average age is 11 years. So if we were to put that on a model, then let's say, the average age okay we have to put the average age so this is the average age which is 11 years okay this is the average age of girl number one and this is also the average age of girl number two and girl number three so I copy and paste that here so here okay so I have three girls let me write that down here this is girl number one this is girl number two and this is girl number three and these are their average ages okay these are not their actual real ages these are just the average ages and each of these is 11 years so I put that down here this is 11 years okay now we said that these need not be the real ages the actual ages of the girls maybe you know the first girl is uh, this old let's suppose she is uh, older than 11 years maybe the second girl let's suppose she is uh, younger maybe she is uh, less than 11 years old and maybe the third girl maybe she's also younger maybe she is also less than 11 years old okay so here's what we have we have three girls whose average age is 11 years but their actual ages may not be 11 years okay so we have these three girls actually let me move these to this side and since these are so light let me make them a little dark okay so these are their actual ages we said just now these are the actual or real ages they need not be in the same order maybe girl number one is younger or girl number two is younger or something but we just assume that these are the ages for now okay these are the actual or the real ages and these are the average ages Okay, so if the average age of the three girls is 11 years, then what can you tell about the total age of the girls? Well, the total age of the girls is nothing but 11 plus 11 plus 11 or 3 times 11 years, right? 3 11s. So 3 times 11 years. So the total age, that doesn't change whether it's the average age or the actual age. So the total age of the girls does not change. That's the important thing to note that the that if you replace the actual age of the girls by their average age, then the total age, the sum of the ages does not change. So this is also 3 times 11 years. So this plus this plus this is the same as this plus this plus this. So the total age of the girls is 3 times 11 years and that is equal to 33 years. So the total age of the three girls is 33 years. Okay, so that's done. Now, the next thing we know is the average age of two of the girls is 12 years. So if we take the first girl and the second girl, we can take any girl actually, but let's just suppose that, you know, we take the ages of the first girl and the second girl. Then their average age is 12 years, which means that these two combined, the total age of the first girl and the second girl would be two times 12 years, right? So this is 24 years, right? Now, this is very simple. All we have to do now is we have to find out what the age of the third girl is. So there's G3. What is that equal to? Now, we know that the total age of the three girls is 33 years. And the total age of two of these girls, which is G1 and G2, is 24 years. Then can we find out the age of the third girl, which is G3's age? It's quite simple. All you do is 33 minus 24 and that gives you 9 so the age of the third girl is nothing but 9 years that's it that's how simple it is all you have to remember is that if you replace the actual age of the girls by their average age then their total age does not change this is what has really happened maybe suppose that you know this was 11 years and that was the average age of the girls, okay, of the three girls. Uh, and we write that down over here. This is 11 years.
in our model we assume that only girl number one was older than 11 years the rest of them g2 and g3 were younger okay so all that really happened was these extra years from the age of girl number one were taken and distributed between girls two and three okay so this was equal to this plus this okay so all that really happened was this was taken from girl number one's age and was distributed between G2's and G3's age and therefore the total did not change. The total of their age did not change. So whether you are taking the average ages or you're taking the actual ages, the total of the ages does not change. The sum remains unchanged. So you have 33 years here as well as here. And the same happened when we took the average age of two of the girls, okay? So we took G1 and G2 and we knew that the average age of the two girls was 12 years, okay? So let's suppose that, you know, until here was 12 years. So we took these years, these extra years, okay, extra as in, you know, minus the average age. So we took these years and we gave to girl number two. So this plus... Let me use another color actually. So this plus this was two times 12 years. But I know that whether I take the average age or the actual age, the sum does not change. So this plus this would also be two times 12 years or 24 years. Okay, so that's what you really have to remember. Well, that's it about this word problem. I hope you understood and I hope that now you'll go and solve some other word problems as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. Don't forget to practice because practice makes perfect. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.